Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to New World. Pardon my appearance, but it's it's necessary. Well, it might not necessarily be necessary, uh, but it helps out a little bit, I suppose, since I'm lazy and I don't have any light armor. Uh, but regardless, today we are going to be farming up some of the most sought-after items in the game to either make money or have a stockpile of them for yourself, so that way you can craft up all of your things for every single crafting job in the game. Now, all of these items sell for quite a bit of money, uh, but we're going to be doing something very specific. And what's great about this is you're not going to have to fight over any kind of points. These are open to everybody, and you can do it really easily. So we're going to be hanging outside of Windsward, and we're going to be going to each of these farms. Now, these farms have all of the chests that contain items that we need, and they are very, very valuable. During a run of this, you could probably make about a thousand gold if you farm up everything. Do the wells still have items in them, or is he just going to pull up water? Okay, yeah, we just pull up water from the wells. I was a little curious, uh, but it looks like somebody actually hits the crops that were already here. One of the benefits of doing this particular run is that you can gather up all of the crops, which are very, very lucrative. Uh, but unfortunately, it seems like somebody's got everything but the corn and blueberries, I guess? But really what we're looking for is a couple things specifically. Now in each of these houses and outside of these houses, there's going to be chests that we can loot. Of course, there's a whole bunch of monsters in here as well. Let's bonk those to death. Uh, but pretty much in each of these houses, there's going to be a chest that you can loot. Or a supply crate, or something like that. God. Well, hello, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to New World. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get some of the most sought-after items in the game to either make a ton of money, or to just use them for yourself for your own crafting. Now, the items that we're going to be farming up specifically are these weak solvents, sand flux, and coarse sandpaper, and really anything else that can be used in crafting, because the demand is so high for these that they're always selling at a really, really good value. And you want to know what the best part is? You don't have to fight for points for it. Literally, everybody can loot these all at the same time, and if you know a good route to be able to farm them up, you can make a ton of money, or at least not have to spend money or get them all for yourself. Now, you can see here, one sand flux sells for $2.75 gold, or 2.75 gold. Now, you can get upwards of 10 of these from one crate. So, you'll be making 20 gold per crate, and you can make easily a thousand or more gold per run with these chests. And we're going to be doing this just outside of Windsward Village because it has a lot of these farms. And you can do this in any area where there is a farm nearby. And not only are we going to be collecting these crafting materials, but we're also going to be getting um, anything for cooking and stuff like that because all of those items sell for quite a bit of money and there's always a very high demand for them. Uh, now, I am naked. I know it's a little terrifying, but I don't have any light armor. Uh, but if you are in the... If you have your armor set to light, you get the ability to roll. So your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance. Now, what you can do is you can use this roll and then you hit X to change your weapon. So if you rolled without doing that, you see how you pause at the end? Uh, but if you roll, change your weapon, you don't get that pause and you can move quite a bit faster. You look like a little bit of a freak, but you know what? It could be a lot worse. So what we're going to do is we're just going to head outside of Windsward and we're going to gather any kind of vegetable that we see. And then we're going to loot any box that we find. Now, the large supply crates often only really have items in them, but we'll get into exactly what we're looking for here in a moment. But definitely any kind of vegetable you're going to want to gather. They are incredibly lucrative. You can keep them for yourself or you can sell them on the market. Now, what I recommend doing when you're uh, trying to do this like roll thing is if you lower your if you if you use up all of your stamina, then you're gonna have to regenerate stamina before you can do it again. Look, I just sold a whole bunch of potatoes for 195 gold, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, so you just roll and then let it regenerate a little bit, and then you can roll again. Now, inside of here should be one of the crates that we're looking for, and wham bam, thank you, ma'am. There we go. We got some crossweave, which everyone's going to need as well. Uh, crossweave is one of the items that we want. And basically, we're going to run around these farms, and we're going to find all of those crates. Now, there's quite a few in each of these. Uh, we also got some carrots sitting out here. That's going to be good. We got turkeys. You could slap those around a little bit if you so desire. 
Uh, but really the main goal is just gathering everything possible around to be able to make yourself rich. Now these crates will be in the same place every single time and you're kind of going to end up making your own little process for going through and getting all of them. I think weak solvent might be the cheapest, although I I think that because I just haven't used a lot of weak solvent in anything that I've done in the game so far. Um, but yeah, so just make sure to gather everything. We've got some crates. Each of these houses is usually going to have a crate or one of the large crates. I think I looted this one before I started the video. I did. But you're going to want to go inside each of the houses and usually right around the houses is going to be something to gather as well. Now you can do this in higher level zones. There we go. We got 11 sand flux and 12 tannin. That is insane. That's 40 gold for that one. Maybe even more depending on the area that you're selling them in. It's kind of ridiculous. Now you can do this in higher level zones. Specifically like this zone because you can just pimp slap everything to death and it's just really easy. You don't have to worry. Ah, there we go. Strawberries are a great one to pick up. A really good one. Potatoes and strawberries, highly lucrative. Um, but basically, once you complete one of the areas, you could just move on to the next one. Uh, so we're going to head from... Basically, you want to hit this farm right here. Then you're going to hit this one. Then you're going to go down to Greenville. And then you're going to hit the Willits Homestead. And you can really do as much as you want. You could go in a big loop. You could go to Willits Homestead. You could go to Aruda Ranch, Tress, uh, the, Fog, the Fong Family Orchard. You can hit up Farside Township, and you can kind of do this nice loop. So I figured what I would do, and I was I would do a full loop of this. I'll show you all of the items that I get for that. We'll figure out how much it's going to sell for. Then we can calculate how much time it took and how much money we made. Now a big money maker, broccoli. I just got to the third area. So we went to Greenville or Grenville, and then now we're at Willits Homestead. And in this backyard here is so much broccoli broccoli can sell for a ton because it's a tier four item and everyone that's going to be making high level food is probably going to need some broccoli uh so we can go anywhere from like three to seven gold to pop we just got 14 so it's a little over a hundred gold so far and you, you you get the gist of it so i only made it about halfway through uh, the route that you could take, so I did these three, you could go on to do all of this and you could harvest all of the fiber and stuff in this area if you so desire. Uh, but just after hitting the three, uh, we can go see what we made in value from our resources. Alright, let's check how much money we made on the auction house. So we'll go to Flux and Sand Flux and place a sell order. We decided to sell it here. Uh, the lowest price is 275 So I made 111 of these, which means we'll make right around 280 after taxes, which is pretty darn good. So it only took just a few minutes to farm that up. Uh, so we can look under solvent. So we got potent, uh, weak solvent. Uh, weak solvent, I knew it was only about a dollar. Uh, so if we decide to sell this, uh, we made <laughs> $69. Perfect. Coarse sandpaper is another great one because you use so much of it. it sells for 3.25 a piece. Uh, we got 251 of those bad boys. <laughs> That's really good. Crossweave here is selling for $2, but there's not a lot of it. I'm not sure what the demand for crossweave is here. There's a big fiber spawn around, so theoretically it could be high. We got 102 of those. So That's another $200. A tannin is selling for 1.98. So we got 52 of those. Ooh, the broccoli stonks have gone down, 2.49, but we still got 97 of those. So there's another $100, or $200. Those potato stonks, though, always pretty good. The lowest is 2.19, and then it goes up to $3 here. Uh, we only got 46 of those, though. Now, there's a couple other resources that we got, uh, but all of that equals about 1,659 gold. And all we had to do was just run through here. Now, if we take out all of the food that we got, then we made around uh, uh, 1250 guaranteed money. Now, obviously, some of these prices might fluctuate and they'll depend on your own server. Uh, but for the most part, these are incredibly high demand resources. And even if you don't sell them, you can use them yourself and make money that way. Uh, but I really do hope everybody enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.